With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So in the question, they are saying that in an electrical circuit of LCR series, AC voltage source is connected in series and when L is removed, initially they are removing L which means only R and C will be working and in that condition, the phase difference of the voltage and current they are telling it is pi by 3. Okay. Then after that, again they will remove C. When they remove C, what remains? L and R will remain. So only when RL circuit is remaining, the phase difference is again pi by 3. And you are supposed to find the power factor of the circuit. Okay. Uh, so let us write two equations separately for both. Okay. Once for L removing and C removed. So when L is removed, what is remaining? Only R and C is removed. So RC circuit for RC circuit. What will be the equation now? The phase difference they are telling it is pi by 3. So the equation becomes the general equation. Let me write it here. So see tan phi is equal to XL minus XC by R is the general equation. Okay, it is if one component is removed, that impedance part goes off. So you will be having for RC circuit. See here if L is removed, no, so L is removed means this XL will not be there. Okay, so tan phi, phi is pi by 3. So tan pi by 3 is equal to XC by R. Okay, so from this XC will be equal to tan phi by pi by 3 is how much? It is root 3. So, xc will be equal to root 3 into r. Call this as equation 1. Similarly, the next part what they do? C they will remove. So, when they remove C, what is remaining? RL is remaining. So, in the next case, they have only RL circuit. And in RL circuit also, the phase difference they are telling it is pi by 3. So, in this case, xc will be removed off. And you have only uh, xl remaining. So, that gives you tan pi by 3 is equal to xl by r. And so, from this, xl will be equal to what? Again, you have tan pi by 3, it is root 3 into r. You have now got xl and xc value, see, equation 2. So, we will substitute it in the general equation now. So, the general equation says, see, tan phi is equal to xl minus xc divided by r. So when you substitute both, see xl is root 3 r, xc is root 3 r divided by r. So what you get, see to the numerator, you have 0. So tan phi, what does it become? It becomes 0. So if tan phi is 0, this means that phi is equal to 0. So the phase angle you are getting, getting it as 0. If the phase angle is 0, now you have to find what you have to find in the problem. They are asking you to find the power factor. So, how do you define power factor? Usually, power factor will be defined as cos phi, right? And this gives you the power factor. Power factor is equal to cos phi. Now, we have know the cos phi, phi value. So, this will be equal to cos 0 and cos 0 it is 1. So, power factor will be equal to 1 in this circuit. So, now see to the options you have. Option C, 1 is the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.